to hear, to learn the conversation with uh, the longest serving mayor of Rotterdam. Yeah. Because he has been in, in office longer than anyone in the history of Rotterdam. And that is something. So I, I mean, I will, I'm in Jakarta. We can meet anytime, you know, but he is not here all the time. This is a golden opportunity. So it's, uh, it's a lot better if we can, you know, you can talk to him, explore, ask questions, ask difficult questions. <laughs> the more difficult questions, the better the questions. And I'll, and I'll give you a reward for that. Oh. Can I? <laughs> no, 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 no. But uh, well, I think it is an again opportunity. So uh, again, I truly appreciate the opportunity. But uh, I'm, I'm happy to share my experience. But I think it's it is a great opportunity if we can have conversations, share stories, and and, and, and I'm happy to you know jump in at any time. Okay. Thank you. So, Mr. Mayor. Uh, thank you very much for that, for that compliment. Indeed, when, if I finish my third term, then I will be 18 years mayor, and that's indeed the longest. The longest. Um, you know, the man, fascinating man, who told the whole village, jump in the time when I was rewarded the title best mayor of the world, and I was in that city, and in the environment there, the governor and his people organized a, a, a meeting uh, to say thank you, and then said, We're not accepting thank you only if you succeed in bringing that teacher back to that location. So they went searching for the teacher, they found them and brought it to that location. That was a very emotional moment. There are a couple of people important in your life first of all, your mother, your father, and then your teacher. So, um, Thanks to the work of that guy, um, I learned writing and reading. Um, and he and other people surrounding me, they discovered that I was talented. I speak the Arab language, even the old language of the Quran, but I'm not an Arab. I'm an Amazigh. The original people in northern Morocco are Amazigh. That region has been See, you don't have much things to do. You are in the beginning of big trouble later on. But if you're busy, whatever that busyness is, be it active in choir, be it active in anything, as long as it's a good thing, then not active in, you know, uh, uh, clubbing or anything, yeah? <laughs> then you are on the right track. Be busy, be active. And I often said that your high GPA will get you a job interview, but it's your leadership that will give you the job. That is your leadership, your organizational experience, your critical thinking, your systematic thinking that will get you the future. So those are some gen. You know, uh, I'm second generation of your story. It's my parents that experience a situation similar to yours. It's my mother, first educated in the family, in the history of the entire family lines. You know, beyond that, my grandmother never ever looked at schools. My grandmother doesn't even speak Bahasa Indonesia. She can only speak Bahasa Sunda. <coughs> she doesn't even speak Bahasa Indonesia. And uh, my grandfather in, in, in Korean, they rarely, uh, perhaps entire life maybe uh, reading only the Quran and you know perhaps lifetime readership at the time was minimum minimum printing matters anyway is less than a week of newspaper uh, here for his lifetime it shows that at that time was very minimum but he decided to send his kids to go to school I'm the second generation of an educated uh, generation of Indonesia and you are many of your or uh, the Quran or Pagan. Pagan is Arabic letters, but the language is Malay. But they're using the Arabic letters to write the. So go back to that. Be active. Uh, then you'll equip yourself. Same thing. Never, never imagine you'll. You know, I learned that in, in this job. 
same path. You cannot predict opportunity, but you can predict preparedness. You can predict yourself whether you are in the track of being prepared to be in certain positions or not. Preparedness is something that we can do. Opportunity sometimes doesn't come from our decision. Thank you. I think the message that we could take that education. Who loves poetry here? Poetry. Uh, Indonesian poetry. Well, what about it? French, English? Might, if I may also suggest, one is poetry, another is read novel. Read novel is something that I, I'm encouraging my kids to say read novel. Why that is the case? It, it stimulates their imagination. Let me put it this way. Yeah. There is a house, the color is blue, and the windows are green, and then the grass outside the house were nice green with plant with the beautiful flowers, and behind the house there is a beautiful mountain, and next to it there is a blue lake. That's every good one of us, every one of us, when I said that, have their own imagination, and nothing is identical. Even though the word coming from me is the same, same but, but everyone, <laughs> that's called stimulation for uh, imagination. And that's what we need. You want to be creative? Stimulate yourself with poet. Uh, literature? Literature. But if you watch movie, everything is fixed. Yes, it doesn't stimulate you. The house is fixed. Everyone come, come, come out of the theater. They have the, the same, same picture, yeah, the same. exactly everything. So it's not only stimulating. So uh, reading, I, I don't actually uh, pages, hundred pages, piece of cake. I do the four hundred. I, I, I encourage people also to do mathematics. <laughs> Why? For one simple reason. Then uh, no politician will lie to you based on statistics. <laughs> Go on, yes. Uh, this, this I have similar story. <laughs> no, it is also unique. I, I, I was studying economics at, uh, at my laboratory. Then I went to the U.S. for my master's. And at that time, there was economics and mathematics, econometrics. And we, we, had, we had econometrics, we had mathematics in, in under, under, uh, my undergraduate. But when we, when we took the mathematics in my master's degree, well, it was not Mathematics that I thought. Mathematics was easy if there is numbers. But when you do not see the numbers, that is difficult. So those were ITB, where you're doing mathematics without numbers, right? Yeah. When, when all the algorithm is no longer using numeric value, but letters. So I did econometrics, advanced econometrics, and it was truly a training that when I, this is a true story, we were, we were so struggling. We were in the library at 11, 12, midnight, and whenever we go back, we talk to each other, we said, why are we studying this? <laughs> why are we studying this? Oh, we are supposed and, to be encouraging them. No, no, let me finish. <laughs> okay. And, and that's true. You know, you are, the, for example, the questions is only three, and it takes you 12 hours to complete it, okay? And it was tough. And we all were struggling and we feel, why are we doing this? And it, uh, the rate of frustration is so high among all of us, these students. And uh, we went through that process for like two years, a year. Uh, the second year was lighter. But now I realize the importance of that. Not only now, but later on. Systematic thinking. Systematic thinking, budgeting. budgeting, and then you can translate it into many things. Yes. So when you come to a meeting and you have a systematic thinking, and then the one presenting is not systematic, hmm, this is <laughs> you didn't go to school properly, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get the mathematics well, but you don't judge based on that. But you can still keep thinking. So what is uh, the square root of twenty-five? Five. Everyone says five. Wrong. Well, everyone says five. Square root of twenty-five is not five. It's plus minus five. 
But when you have that outcome, you did have a final outcome because in mathematics, we have only one outcome. It's a plus or minus one. So even with that outcome, you continue thinking about what it is. Um, that is in our job. Uh, when you have a solution coming from the audience, from your citizens, for instance, you still continue, is that going to fit a certain group of people, or is that a general solution for everyone? Is it suitable for the innovations of that street when it comes to parking? Or would it fit into the general idea of parking in the city? So keep thinking even if there is one outcome. And sometimes you have a, a sociological thinking about a, about a complicated solution. I had one professor who ever asked me, uh, said to me, Ahmed, I have one thing for you you will never forget. And it's truth. The first day they were teaching us, he asked all the students, a small group, uh, 15 of us, um, how to become rich. If no one wants to become rich, except me, that's truth. And that's truth. I want to become rich in other domains, not in money. And uh, so all the students had fascinating answers. Invest in, in big companies, being a shareholder, or starting your own business, and all the other ideas. And that was all wrong. The only way in his vision to become a rich man was to marry to a daughter of a rich man.